If you were a river in the mountains tall, the rumble of your water would be my call. If you were the winter, I know I'd be the snow, just as long as you were with me when the cold winds blow. Good evening, everybody. My name's Brian, if you don't know. And I'm Caroline's dad. And it's down to me to start this, apparently. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the best day of my life. I um, I can't believe how blessed I am. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Kemp. <laughs> and gentlemen we'd like to welcome you and thank you for being here today everything Caroline does she commits to 100% whether it's her job or hobbies or as Rob's now found out organizing a wedding <laughs> Rob's a great guy. I'm very proud to have him as a son-in-law. But there's one thing I do find slightly annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fat, he's good at everything. Some of us have traveled a long way to be here, and for that, we thank you. We've all done it for a very simple reason. Probably the best reason why anyone should do anything. Two people are in love. Two people so important to all of us, Caroline and Rob. We, uh, we met each other only a little over two years ago. Um, and within a couple of dates, I knew that I had to find some way not to mess this one up. Um, her stunning looks hit me instantly. I love you because you have the longest legs I've ever seen on a human. <laughs> I love you because everything in my life is better since I met you and you make me feel like the luckiest man on earth. I love you because everything that matters to me in our relationship, big or small, aligns to what matters to you. Ultimately, I love you because we love each other. She'll tell you it's a team effort and we have had some wonderful help, but it's all been Caroline's vision, um, her patience, her perseverance, um, and now it's all on display for everyone to enjoy. Anyone who knows Caroline knows that it's her kindness that is so easy to fall in love with. In a world of egos and selfish behavior being rewarded, she has never once put anyone down or stood on someone to make herself look taller, because she's tall enough already. But at the hands of best man Paul, in his role as Holy Ghost, to unite this loving couple so they can live life to the most. So join them, friends and guests, and help them paint the town. Drink, eat, dance, and be merry, and let's bring Derry down. And I remember squeezing rope really hard. And I remember thinking, this is it. <laughs> he's gorgeous, he's fun, he's smart, he's not afraid to dance like a goof, he's not embarrassed to have his face covered in glitter, he can talk to anyone, get on with anyone, he's cool, his family are cool. <laughs> I remember the third weekend of August, 2021 so well because this is a night I fell in love with Rob. I love you because you are the most affectionate person I've ever met. Every day when I get home from work, you greet me like I've been away for months. 
We even have our own brand now. It's called Robberline Boho Chic and it's awesome. I love you because I'm the most indecisive person on the earth. But there is one thing I'm certain of. It's spending the rest of my life with you. Thank you for being a bloody good mate. <laughs> um, uh, an exemplary, you've been an exemplary friend. Uh, I think you're gonna be an excellent husband. Uh, I think you're gonna be an excellent father one day. Rob, I love you so much. I will forever support you and be your biggest cheerleader. You make me smile, you make me laugh, and I know that will never, ever stop. You've made the, the biggest, scariest decision of my life the easiest one. I love you more than I knew I had the capacity to love. Thank you so much for who you are and my odd-shaped puzzle piece that fits my odd shape and completes me. Here's to the past for all you have learnt, here's to the present for all you share, and here's to the future for all you've got to look forward to. Rob and Caroline. Ladies and gentlemen, let us cherish this beautiful moment we have witnessed, Caroline and Rob's first steps into a future of unity and joy. It is now my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Robert, if she agrees, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs>